Back uh, in the uh, transition to electric vehicles, cars and small trucks certainly are getting there, but the big rigs pose bigger hurdles. Diana Olick has details on one startup that's changing the thinking about electrifying those vehicles. Diana. Well, Tyler, the trouble with electrifying big tractor-trailer trucks is that the tractor component, the front part, needs a tremendous amount of power, more than the current charging infrastructure can handle, not to mention that the charging time is very long. But what if you focus not on the tractor, but on the trailer? Big rigs make up just 10% of the vehicles on the road, but they account for nearly 30% of vehicle carbon emissions. Major truck manufacturers like Volvo, Freightliner, and Tesla are introducing electric tractor-trailer trucks, but it's still a tiny and inefficient market. Now, one startup, California-based Range Energy, is introducing electrified trailers. They power and propel themselves, so the tractor part has less to pull. When I push this button to activate the system, the trailer follows me. Doesn't matter if I'm an old Peterbilt semi truck or a brand new Tesla semi or just me pulling on it with the system activated. The trailer's mission is to make itself feel weightless. The electrified trailer can also refrigerate itself as well as power onboard communications and security systems, all at a fraction of the cost of diesel. If we were to take one of these fleets that runs 3,000 trailers and run it through the range system and, and essentially incorporate the range system into their fleet, we're looking at 100 million pounds of CO2 saved per year. But even better than that, it equates to about $50 million in fuel savings alone. Northern Refrigerated Transportation is piloting the range trailers in California. COO Ricky Souza said they've tried electric tractors, but the long charging time for drivers is a hurdle. The trailers seems more of a natural fit because uh, we have to load them and we load them at night and so it's not more dependent on a driver waiting for it. Range Energy is backed by R7, Up Partners, Truesdale Ventures and Yamaha Motor Ventures. Total funding so far, $31.5 million. Now, just like in the EV market for cars, charging infrastructure is still not where it needs to be. But Javiden says trucking companies can leverage the power that's at the loading dock, as Northern is already doing. He also said they're able to size the battery pack much closer to what you'd see in a passenger vehicle than what you would see in the other large commercial vehicles that are coming out. Back to you guys.